Okay, guys, uh, I've got a question for you this morning. Uh, I, I got this little uh, super cheap uh, toolkit uh, to use at the office or whatever for just emergency repairs. And it came with a digital multimeter. And I want you to look at it and tell me what you think about the... Uh, one particular setting. I can't seem to figure out what, um, how it works or what it's supposed to represent and it'll make sense in just a minute when you see what I'm talking about. Here's the kit, paperwork that came with it and uh, I've added a few pieces of uh, some tools to to the pouch uh, that might be of use to me in the in the field. It's got a little Actually, a pretty cool little soldering iron here with adjustable temperature and an on-off switch on the on the soldering iron. But here's the meter that I was talking about. Um, and again, this is a super cheap set. So, you know, I've got some really nice equipment and this is certainly the uh, very inexpensive uh, digital multimeter. But what the setting I wanted you to look at is right here 1.5 volt battery 9 volt so obviously you would say well that's a uh, battery tester okay so it probably has a resistor in there and it loads the battery and tests it under load which is the way you would accurately test a battery so I've got some batteries here now let me grab a I'm, I'm, these are all brand new and let's just uh, Let's just test this function and we'll just check it. All right, we know that's not volts. All right, so whatever. I've got the polarity backwards, but I don't think it matters with a meter in this case. I <laughs> tried to do this one handed, I'm sorry. There we go. All right, what does that 23 represent? You say, well, that represents the percentage of the battery. Charge, so it's 22, 23%. Well, that's a brand new battery, but if you don't believe it, let's just take another one. Never taken the cap off of that one. And let's try it again with a brand new one, never been taking the cap off. All right, 22.5, all right. 22.5 uh, and the other battery was 23 okay let's try a 1.5 volt it's gonna be a little more difficult with one hand but we'll try it we're gonna switch the meter to the 1.5 volt setting Sorry, I'm in the way of the light. So I'm on the 1.5 volt. And uh, I'm going to try to do this one-handed. I'm failing all of the YouTube video um, rules of camera control. There we go. The fluttering is my, there we go, 37 or whatever. What do you think? What in the world is that setting? Now you say, well, just look at the manual. Okay. So I went through this little Chinese English, English written manual and there is not a word about the battery setting battery test setting and then the nice color brochure shows the uh, the range setting for the battery and even listed as battery 1.5 volt to 9 volt but there's nothing in the paperwork that talks about the battery test function okay so it's not that big of a deal but it's just got me really puzzled so I'm open to your suggestions.
And by the way, I did go online and I did search for that model. And there are a couple of videos on YouTube in Russian. So any of you Russian speaking YouTubers can tell me. Um, none of them, not one video that I could find on YouTube had any indication of this setting on this particular model meter. So I think they produced several of these meters under uh, different manufacturers and all called them UK-830LN digital multimeters. So I would really be curious as to what you think. Post below um, your answers and as always, thank you for watching.